A new report from Oxfam finds that some individuals working at chicken processing plants are forced to wear diapers because they're not allowed to take breaks to use the restroom. Now, this uh, lengthy report highlights many questionable things that are happening at four specific manufacturing plants. Workers at four major chicken manufacturers were regularly denied bathroom breaks or were allowed such a short amount of time to use the facilities that many had resorted to wearing diapers on the factory floor. Oh, my God. Oxfam conducted three years' worth of research at Tyson Foods, Purdue Farms, Sanderson Farms, and Pilgrim's Pride, including conducting hundreds of interviews. Some of the workers were told to limit the amount of water they drink in order to urinate less. As a result, many of them developed UTIs. Also, if a worker needed to go, someone has to replace them on the line until they come back. Workers say finding a replacement can take up to an hour. Sometimes they say a replacement never even arrives. So, by the way, there's one other extra element of disaster of the story. Uh, if they develop urinary tract infection, as they're more likely to do, it's harder to treat because of the antibiotics that, the, uh, antibiotics that they're exposed to in, in those chicken yeah. plants. So the wording of that, in my opinion, was questionable because they said it could make the UTIs harder to treat because of antibiotics. There's no proof of that, which is why I didn't want to present that information. Okay. And there's plenty of already devastating facts in this yes. story. So, look, this is one of the most depressing stories I, I, I've we've done, presented to you guys. And look, I know we talk about death and tragedies all the time, but look at how much they've won in crushing our souls and, and demeaning uh, workers in this country. So, I mean, we're this close to sending the kids back into the mines. So we've devolved and devolved. Now they tell workers to literally defecate in their pants, to urinate in their pants. It's okay, no, no, we're gonna give you, gonna put, make you put on diapers. Are you kidding me? It's so bad. And so a lot of you might be wondering, well, I mean, what's going on? We have regulations that make sure that this type of activity doesn't happen in, in factories. But the reality is, you not only need regulation to ensure that corporations or companies are doing the right things, you need to make sure that you have some body, like a, a, a federal body, like OSHA, for instance, to uh, monitor and evaluate all these different you know, meat facilities to ensure that they're following the law. But it's so underfunded that they're unable to do so. The, so let me give you the numbers on that. Since the 1970s, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, also known as OSHA, has been the primary monitor of meat processing workers' safety in the country, developing standardized workplace regulations and conducting inspections to ensure that they are met. But it is understaffed and underfunded. OSHA inspected less than 1% of the country's workplaces in 2013. So, we talk about this all the time, but this is a good case to remember. So when Republicans go out there and go, oh, there's too much regulation there, we need to deregulate to create more jobs. No, no, it's not about creating more jobs, and most of the jobs are now going abroad, right? The deregulation is so that the management can make an extra buck by making sure that you're working nonstop. And then, so if you have to, again, literally defecate in your pants so that you keep working on that assembly line, that's what you're going to do, and that's what deregulation is going to get them, so they can make that extra buck. And when they defund things, so they'll say, oh, the IRS, it's outrageous, and so uh, we're going to cut the amount of money we're sending to the IRS. Well, that allows tax cheats to get away with things, because you don't have enough manpower to follow up to see which rich person or which corporation is actually following through on the tax laws and which ones are hiding their money in the Cayman Islands or doing other illegal things to cheat on taxes. So in this case, you defund OSHA under the rubric of, oh, I'm helping jobs. No, 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 you're helping to crush the American worker, their spirit, their soul, and their working conditions, and you're doing it under the rubric of, what, 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 I'm just trying to help the economy. No, you're trying to help your donors who run these companies, who pay you a little bit so that you'll deregulate mm -hmm. and let them get away with all these things against their workers. That's how it works. Also, I think that this is a perfect example of the importance of having unions, right? Unions get torn apart in the mainstream press all the time. And the reality is, yes, there are some downsides to unions. We talk about the police unions quite a bit and how they defend um, clear cases of excessive force and police brutality. But in the case of you know factories like this, 
Unions ensure that there are safe working conditions for the workers. They look out for you. So if you're running around believing all these union busters or, or you know, smears, then you're actually working against yourself. Because these are people who have fought for the weekends. They fought for fair wages. They fought to ensure that you are working in a safe environment. And if you think that's bad, well, I don't know what kind of position you're in, but you are definitely taking advantage of some of the things unions have fought for. And you know they work. You know, even if you're against the, uh, some of the actions of the police union, you think the police union would let anybody get away with this for cops? No way. No way, right? And I want you to think about one last thing. Even if you're, uh, I guess, a terrible person and you don't care about anybody else, and you think, ah, oh, so what? Let them wear diapers. Ha <laughs> ha, right? Okay, all right, you're kind of a monster, but okay, right? But they're also working on your food. Oh my that God. That chicken is going on your table at some point, and the guy has just, he, he's, he soiled himself and he's working on your chicken. No, 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 it's worse than that though. I mean, yes, he soiled himself and that alone makes you question, you know, the safety of that food. But also, each factory worker handles 40 chickens per minute. Think about that. Wow. 40 chickens per minute. Yeah. So we've got to get back to sanity in this country. So all that hype you hear on Fox News about, oh, socialism, communism, they want everybody to take over. No, no, no. We just want sanity. We want to have safe food. We want to have workers work hard, but, but be treated with some degree of decency and get a fair wage. They're not bums. They're working their ass off, okay? So can we get them a fair wage and decent working conditions? It's not too much to ask for. It's actually what we used to have in this country until, until they corrupted all of politics by letting private interests buy all of our politicians mm -hmm. and then work for the people who do this.